Oh my goodness. I don't even know if y'all can. Hold on. <laughs> All right. All right, can y'all see me? Because I'm trying to. I'm trying to all right, I'm trying to do it on my phone now since since my dad going. Oh my goodness, I can see it from my phone. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be able to see the words on my phone. I can turn this thing on computer off. It ain't doing that. Jack nothing is better on my phone. Now I'm trying to get situated in here with my dad going. Phones. Yeah, it's on my phone now instead of my laptop. I'm about to get comfortable. Hold up. I didn't know. I didn't bring that daggone thing that I hold my phone up with. <laughs> oh, my Lord. This is not the way I intended on doing this. Because I didn't know that you can see the words on your phone. Well, you know what? I can go ahead and cut this off my computer now. Ain't doing nothing. Let me cut this off my computer. And we can just do it off my phone. If I knew I can do it off my phone, I would have stayed at the campground. <laughs> oh my heavens. And I could have got my deck. Do I have my, um, hold on one sec. Oh man. I was looking for my tripod because if I knew I could do this on my phone, I could have just did it from my dad going, put y'all on my tripod. Now, I am in such an awkward position right now in my van. <laughs> oh my goodness, I know. I guess that's that new iPhone 14. <laughs> no, I'm not at the campground. I could have did this live at the campground. <laughs> I know. Now I'm trying to get comfortable. <laughs> let me look, look at me picking y'all up like y'all my little kids. <laughs> let me see if I can get a. All right. I guess I'm gonna have to hold this. <laughs> That's much brighter, isn't it? <laughs> all right, now y'all gonna be all, I'm gonna be all up in y'all grill. This feels so awkward. I know I should just go back to the campground. Can y'all hang on for like 10 minutes? Yeah, let's do that. We going back to the campground. Because this, this is not working for me. Oh, you know what else I can do? You know what I can do? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can get up front. Hold up, hold up. I can put y'all right here. Okay, so we we'll, Okay, but can I see? All right, there we go. All right. Okay, let's officially start this live. I didn't know what I was saying. Oh my goodness. Yes, that's much better. I didn't intend on doing it up front, but hey. Okay. Look a humble lion. Oh my goodness. Humble lion, you know. Mm. This look much better up here anyway. <laughs> All right, I'm nice and comfy now. Let's get it going on. All right, y'all know this is supposed to be a live Q&A. Can y'all hear me okay? Give me a thumbs up if y'all can hear me okay. <laughs> All right, ooh, them words going by quick. All right, now, I'm encouraging y'all not to write anything too long. 
Because <laughs> I'm going to miss it. These things are flying by. Mm. Okay, I don't even know where to begin. Ain't nobody asking me nothing. <laughs> All right, very good, very good. Got some thumbs up. Hey, thank you, Don. Oh, these words are really moving. How can you slow these words down? Anthony can't get the... <laughs> Is that right? Where am I? I am... You mean where I'm at as in state? Okay, I got to slow these words down. I have to slow these words down because y'all let me have it. I know, I need something. I gotta learn how to slow these words down. Let me see something. I've been them hit something and turned off the whole live. Oh, what camera am I using? I'm using the iPhone 14 Pro. Is that what they call it? The Pro Max? Yes, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I just now got it about, I don't know, two weeks ago. I love it so far. Okay, let's see what else we can get into. Gotta answer some questions here. There's Kathy. <laughs> I, I don't need a moderator. I need to learn how to slow these words down. That's what I need to do. What are you cooking tonight? I already Don asked, what am I cooking tonight? I already cook. I cook um some fish and some of my butter garlic rice. Ask me your laugh is contagious. Thank you. What you had for breakfast this morning? For breakfast this morning, I made uh two slices of bacon, cheese, a fried egg on one of my big buns. Cause I gotta get rid of them buns, boy. Oh, let me see. If you don't mind, let me go back. If you don't mind answering, did you use a travel agent to book your trip to Japan? I did not use, excuse me if I don't get the name and, you know, associate the name with the question because, you know, I'm trying my best. Y'all flying, boy. I did not use a travel agent. I did everything from Expedia. I like Expedia because they keep everything in order for you. And you can just go on there and see your whole itinerary. So did I officially, after I got situated, say, hey, FOA squad? What campground has been your favorite so far? I like, I did a video recently. I like uh, Sawmill in uh, Dade City, Florida. And I like this one that I'm at now, Hillside. Are you coming to Virginia? Maybe. You know, Baltimore is close to Virginia. If you can slow down the video. I know, I gotta learn how to do that. <laughs> CW asks, why do you film? Ah! Okay. This might, this, this live might be y'all just sitting up here looking at me. <laughs> Any advice for new content creators? The Everyday Vegan Acts. I would say at the beginning, persistence. Don't get frustrated because it rarely happens overnight to many of us. We usually have to put in the time and sweat. Thank you, Nikki. We usually have to put in the time and the hard work. It can be very frustrating at times because you're not getting the results that you want. So I would say be patient. Be patient and stay consistent. Is PA safely, safer than Baltimore? Um, In terms of what? Do you like savory oats? Nope. Because I saw um nomadic introvert make, make some savory oatmeal one time and not my cup of tea. Nope. I know Mateo mentioned me in his video. I watched his video. I actually was eating my dinner and watching his video. And I filmed a little clip of that. That probably will show up in my next video. <clears throat> will you be coming to Detroit? 
I almost was on my way to Detroit when I went on that little road trip, but I did not make it because of time. Okay, I'm gonna try to read this a little better. I feel like I'm looking up. Let me let me put y'all down soon. Okay, let me see what that was. Hey, Anthony. Hey, Miss Salima. <laughs> okay how how are you today if you decide to get a dog okay let me <clears throat> let me touch on that dog thing right quick so we can nip this in the bud right now when i mentioned that i said to you guys that it was a low low thought you know it was just something and i think i started thinking about that because i started seeing everybody with their dogs and everything around the um campground and for a quick second day, I thought, oh, it would be nice to have a dog. It's not like that I gave it some really, really serious thought about it. It was just like a quick thought, and I thought I'd mention it to you guys. What's your next movie at the theater? Oh, Mission Impossible. It should be out, by the way. I might go see it tomorrow. Yes, the, the new Mission Impossible. I've seen all of the Mission Impossibles. Your youngest fan, Alice, is watching. <laughs> hey, Alice. <laughs> Thank you, Bren. No to the dog right now. You know, it's more than likely not going to happen with the dog. I probably wait until I get, like, a home base and then think more seriously about the dog. Come to the Bronx. Thank you, Roz. Do I get lonely? I do not get lonely. I get more or less like restless and feel like I'm ready to do something, but I never get lonely. Oh, I have no desire to see the Barbie movie. I don't know what's going on with, um, what's the guy that's playing Ken? I used to like him and hit the type of movies that he make. And, and now he's making all these, I guess, cause he having kids and everything. He's making all these crazy movies all righty <clears throat> hi nikki <laughs> anthony you keep ah hey anthony i haven't been on in a while and where did you get the necklace I got this necklace from Amazon. Uh, for those of you who are not aware of why I got this necklace, it's in commemoration of, thank you, Alma. It's in commemoration of my mother's recent passing. How much does it cost to rent a storage unit monthly? I pay $139 a month. It, I started out paying 116, so it went up in two years. Uh, to 116 to 139, which is good. Am I single? Yes, I am. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> uh, what happened to your tail? <laughs> it took you all long enough to ask me that. <laughs> What happened to my tail line? <laughs> it has tape on it. Let me tell y'all that quick story. I was at Oz Campground in um, Georgia, Unadilla, Georgia, and I went out uh, to the bar that night. It was a pool table, dancing and everything. And I had one drink, because I only drink one drink. And because I asked the bartender to make me something and he made me something. And when, when I went back down to, thank you, Nikki. And then when I went back down to the campground, I backed into the tree. <laughs> and all the red part <laughs> shattered. <laughs> and me and one of my campground buddies the next day, we taped it up really good. I mean, we were picking up the pieces off the ground. And we managed to tape almost like 98% of it back on there. And then I bought the new one when Michael was in at the campground recently. And the first new one I bought, it didn't fit. Michael couldn't get it on. So I ordered another one and I sent that one back. The second one, 
didn't fit. I guess those little aftermarket ones is not quite. But also, I probably damaged the back of my van some and uh, moved, hit the bumper or something. And so I told Michael, just hold it and I'm going to tape it down. <laughs> and that's how that happened. <laughs> Oh, when am I coming to Oregon? I don't know because I don't know. Is Michael just your friend? Yes, we are just friends. Thank you, Nikki. When are you coming to Virginia? I don't know. Is Baltimore? Oh, my Lord, y'all flying, y'all flying. Is Baltimore? Okay, Lord have mercy. Help me out. Okay, I'll catch a question when I can. <laughs> Hello from Louisiana. Hey, Sandra. Ooh, y'all are flying. Hi, Anthony. Any more packages from Ella? I have not gotten any more packages from Eddie and Ella. Anthony, love your videos. They make my day. Thank you. I know. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, Anthony, are you coming to Dallas? I was in Dallas last year when Michael and I did that uh, Texas road trip. Are you looking for any special features or functionalities for the pop up? Um, definitely affordability. It has to make financial sense to me. Um, I am not looking for a bathroom or any of those things because I'm mainly at campgrounds anyway, and they have all of those type of things. So it's probably going to be quite basic. I do want a, um, a cooktop that's already built in there, some heat and some air. And I want one where... The bed is on one side, the dinette is on the other side, so I can keep the bed out all the time. I don't want one where you got to push the table down and make a bed. You know, that's what I'm in. That's the situation I'm in now. So if I get a pop-up, it's going to be, you know, an upgrade. What's your favorite part about your new lifestyle? Uh, my favorite part about this lifestyle is, I guess, my ability to be anywhere at any given time for however long that I want to. And the second favorite is I don't have to be around people unless I want to be around people. Because y'all know the stories I was telling y'all when I was working about those people getting on my nerves and I have a low tolerance for people. <laughs> so I love those two things. I love that I am in a position that I can be around people when I want to be around people and also the ability that I can just leave and go. I mean, why not get an RV? Okay, let me address that because I get that a lot, especially lately. I am not getting an RV, okay? The expense, first of all, to purchase one, I don't care whether it's used or new, just the overall expense of having and maintaining an RV is just, it's way out of my financial sense. It's way out of, and even if it was in my financial sense, I still would not get one because I like going to campgrounds that will raise my campground costs. It will raise my gas costs. It will raise my maintenance costs. It will raise my insurance costs. And contrary to what you guys believe or some of you believe, I am not bawling like that on I'm not balling like that. I'm not the force de force. I'm not the Mav. I'm not the Steve Wallace. I'm not balling like that. I have to be very conscious and aware of my spendings. That's why I do little baby steps at a time. All right, let me see. So I'm not getting an RV. I have no intentions on getting one. Uh, I can just see me now at the gas pump and it's like over a hundred dollars to fill it up and as much as i like to be on the road oh my gosh no
yes i will post this uh live so that can be available do you go to pride events i have not i've only gone to probably three prides in my entire life and the main reason why i don't like going to pride as much is because of the crowds i don't like the crowds everything is super crowded all the clubs that you go to, everywhere you go in the area that the pride is in. It's just so, when I tell you guys the only, my only tolerance for being around a lot of people is at a sporting event. If I go to a baseball game, which is a situated type of thing, if I go to a tennis match or a football game or something like that, that is my only tolerance. If I go to like even a festival, I can only be there or tolerate being there for like maybe two hours. And then I'm, I don't like being around large crowds of people. Okay. Oh, Dean, you can moderate. Natalie asks, will you be getting married in the future? Well, I got to find somebody first. <laughs> I'm one of those people that think a relationship is easy. It's much harder finding that person to be in a relationship with. Thank you, someone. Hey, Anthony from Pensacola. Hey, Pensacola. Hey, thank you, Flango. What happened to the naked camper guy? Oh my goodness. Okay. He and I was at the campground Oz in Unadilla. I was supposed to get his phone number before he left. I thought that he was leaving on a Monday. And I was up at the pool deck on my laptop. And I happened to look over. And he was leaving. And it was Sunday. <laughs> And I thought he was leaving the next day. And I was not able to get his phone number. And guess what? He is in Quebec. Remember when I went to Canada? I mean, he was in, he's in Montreal. Remember I went there? I, if I had his number, he and I could have met when I went to pick up my um, kit in uh, Canada. So I misjudged the day that he was leaving. And he left the day before. Can y'all tell I'm like, ah, with these dentures? Will you do van life? Okay, try not to write a long question because you know it's going fast the rest of your life. Will you do van life the rest of your life or will you buy a tiny home? Or... Okay, here is my honest the truth, my goal. My goal, my goal is I'm going to get me some land. I'm going to get some land. And I'm going to put some type of structure on that land. And my target time to do that is sometime next year. Getting the land is not going to be the problem for me. The problem for me is deciding where I want the land to be. I don't want to be too far from my family, but in up north, the land is all is just going to be much more expensive than the land in Arizona or down that over that way. I would love to try to find some a little small piece of land, maybe in Delaware, Pennsylvania like Lancaster or somewhere like that where I'm not too far away from my family. Uh, I feel like Arizona is too too far from my family. Um, if I have to go there for any reason, it's going to be either a long drive or I'm going to have to always get on an airplane. Whereas though, if I get some land in D Delaware or Lancaster, which is only an hour and a half away, that makes it much better so those are the two uh, places i'm going to look first you know the only time i would oh and let me just say this as well i'm i'm not against moving into an uh, rv park neither i haven't given up on that idea neither completely so i'm still going to be trying to do some research on that one just because i was you know Refused on the first one doesn't mean that I might can't get into another one. So um, that's an option as well Where does your family live? My family lives in Baltimore, Maryland Absolutely look for land closer to family Absolutely, but again, it has to make financial sense Are you doing another meetup 
for the Tampa RV show. You know what? The Tampa RV show meetup, it didn't go as expected because I met people as I was walking through the RV. It wasn't like a set thing and we all met at the front gate and then all, we all went in. It was kind of like I was walking around and people were spotting me and that type of deal. So if I do another one there, it has to be a little bit more organized. Lancaster, PA is my family Amish? <laughs> no. <clears throat> I worked in Lancaster for a year and I loved it. It was so quiet and peaceful. Yes, I intend on having at least two meetups in um, California during the road trip. Um, I have someone, Cassie, who is going to put together the Los Angeles uh, meetup because you guys know your, your city and area better than I do. So I was really, really happy that she uh, asked and said that. Thank you, Bren, that she wouldn't mind setting it up for me. So thank you, Cassie. Thank you. Oh, the name went down. Thank you, the other person who sent some money. Thank you. So yeah, I'm I'm looking for people to to ask me um, who don't mind setting up a place because they know their city better than I do. Is there anyone you are currently interested in? You mean as in dating? If that's what you mean, uh, no, not at the time. Anthony, did you stop working out? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it's hard to work out where you're on the campground all the time, but I'm glad you brought that up because I ain't ashamed of it. No, I ain't been to the gym working out. But let me tell y'all what I started. I started yesterday. Bam, I just pulled it off my hip. I bought one of these step counters. And today, guess how many steps I did? Let me show y'all. I'm so proud. Can y'all see that? I did 11,751 steps today. How you like me now? Uh, uh. Yep, I bought this little step thing and I'm going to walk my little behind around that campground three or four times a day. <laughs> and this little thing worked too. So no, I have not been physically working out, but I'm getting into walking. It's the next best thing for me. 11,700 steps today. What goes on at campground parties? First of all, it's a big bonfire. So it's always a nice atmosphere. And beyond that, hmm. I don't like watch. I don't like, look, you guys, have you ever seen me with jewelry on? This is the only jewelry that I will probably ever wear. I'm not a jewelry person, and I'm definitely not a watch person. Hey, thank you. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> thank you, Blair. I think that was. How long did eating only one meal a day last? I think that lasts for like... Three weeks. I can't eat one meal a day. I'm not even gonna lie. I can't. Ugh. First of all, I like food too much to try to only limit it. And second of all, I had so much food in my refrigerator for me to eat one time a day. I would have that food in there for months. Oh my goodness. No. Mountain Claw, what's going on? I met Mountain Claw at the last PA meetup. <laughs> I know I bought that dang on uh, <laughs> vegetable supplement and I kept on forgetting that I had it.
Have you ever thought about creating an Amazon wish list? Nope, I have not. How do you choose what to eat? You know, breakfast, lunch, dinner? Oh my God. Did you get a small cooler? Not yet. <laughs> Anthony, have you ever used the outside showers? I most certainly did at mostly at the um, campground Oz and um, Unadilla because in the tent area, that's all there is available are the outdoor showers. So yes, I have used it. I like it. I like I like showering outdoors. <laughs> I know I'm definitely going to have to learn how to I know it ain't about to rain right now I better not say nothing about mother nature because one woman boy woo, every time I say something about rain she tell me about the lord and then the rain <laughs> thank you <Blair. laughs> she, she, she wrote me a message boy talking about you keep talking about the rain and the Lord. Can you read without poking what? Can you read can you read without poking your nose all in the damn air? Because I gotta look up because of the way my glasses are the the myopia. Thank you. You know, the reading part is down there. Are you going to Japan alone? Yes, I am. Thank you for never inspiring for inspiring me to never give up. Don't come in here and be a pain in my behind now. Let me try to fix y'all so I don't have to look up for that one person. That that one person. I'm going to still look up because that's the way my eyeglasses are. Have you used your projector any more since movie night? I have not, but I'm going to. You know, the, the time that I'm going to use that movie projector the most is the campground in uh, Florida, Sawmill. Because of where the, the sites are, where I usually stay, it's less people over there. There's only about four sites over there. So that's when I'm going to use it the most. Why you say that? <laughs> I know. Why am I explaining myself? If I want to look up, I'll look up. Uh. <laughs> Anthony, you can talk about the rain, snow, or hell. It's your life. I know, right? Are you going to work part-time? Nope. Absolutely not. Not if I don't have to. Anthony, can you do these more often? Because I'm always... Talking. <laughs> what can I do the lives more often? I don't know why I don't do lives. Thank you, Courtney. I don't know why I don't do lives uh, more often because they're easy to do. Uh. <laughs> I know it always got to be one negative Nelly in a bunch stoning. Always. <laughs> Lee Willie, you always look good. You know, I try to stay presentable. You never know when you might meet that one. I always used to say I like to keep my lips moist and kissable just in case I meet that one. <laughs> Why Japan? Okay, if you've been around long enough, you know I've always said that there are two countries that are on my bucket list that I really am interested in going to. And they are Australia because at some point I want to make it to the uh, Australian Open tennis match. And then I've always said Tokyo. And the reason why it's Tokyo, because they have, like, the most oddest foods there. And I cannot wait to be just trying all these different foods that I would not ordinarily try or they necessarily even have over here in the States. So that's what interests me the most about uh, Japan. Dennis asks, when are you hooking back up with Lamont? 
I really don't know when that's going to happen because truth be told, um, I'm not a big fan of Connecticut, the area that he lives in. And that's all I'm going to say. I should have did this live with no teeth in my mouth. I almost did. <laughs> Mercy. Yes, that's what I'm. I'm. I want to eat all that exotic and different foods. Oh my goodness! Oh boy. Please do not remove that. <laughs> I wouldn't take them out like now. I'm just saying before I started, I was. No, I, I not that I know of. Someone asked, do I need special shots to go over to Japan? Not that I know of. When are you going back to Epcot? You missed the good rise. When I went there, some of the, a lot of the rides were closed. Would you ever visit Alabama? There actually, from what I'm told, there actually are a couple of um, all male campgrounds in Alabama. Why are you so humble? Because, you know, as you get older, you start learning to appreciate certain things. And as you get older, you start valuing your life differently. And I don't know whether that's because, you know, you start realizing that, okay, <laughs> you done lived half of it, buddy. <laughs> you better make this last part the best part. Oh, oxtails. You know what? Oxtails are so expensive, though. Oh, my goodness. If you mess them bad boys up, <laughs> I'd be so kind of mad. I want to see your team picks. Okay. As it, as it stands, as it is, my mom had a few pictures of me in my younger days. So I might put together a little slideshow one day and, and show you. I have my junior prom picture, my senior prom picture. I have a picture with this girl that I took to one of the functions at my job. So I got a couple of things. Any advice for new YouTubers? Oh, I just now answered that, you know, be patient and stay consistent. I know. Hey, F, F Doctor. Let me see what F Doctor said. Anthony, hope you are well and enjoying your sabbatical. How long have you been retired from your job? I'm semi-retired. Thank you for the uh, donation. I don't like to call it donation. What should I call it? I'm semi-retired. I ain't getting my social security yet. <laughs> It's been over a year. Remember, I mentioned it. Uh, June 8th was a year that I had quit my job. Could I do a Baltimore meetup? You know what? I don't even know why I have not done a Baltimore meetup. As many times as I have been back to Baltimore, it's coming. I know I should be focusing on saving my money because things are pretty expensive. I do have a bigger goal in mind and, you know, but I also want to do things. I want to go places. Did you date women exclusively at any point? I did. I told y'all before. 
I'm no stranger to the female anatomy. <laughs> I've been around. <laughs> I'm 57. <laughs> yeah, I had I had a girlfriend when I was 21. I went to her ring dance at the high school. Yeah, she was still in high school. And I I don't want to say I dated, but I had a a few romp in a haze <laughs> with a couple women on my job. <laughs> oh, yes, I had a couple romp in a haze with a couple women on my job. But as, as far as a, thank you, Shannon, as far as a steady, steady girlfriend, I had that one girl when I was 21. Oh, my Lord. Anthony, what will be your next big purchase? I'm kind of mad that I didn't have anything to buy to take advantage of Prime Day. <laughs> they had two days of Prime Day, and I, I didn't need anything. What is going to be my next big purchase? Um, it's either going to be... Land or the pop-up. One of them is coming next. One of them is coming next. Either some land or a pop-up. When I think about buying a pop-up, I'm thinking, I go back and forth in my, in my head. Like, okay, Anthony, what's the priority? Buying some land so that you can start establishing your home base or buying a pop-up. So that's where I am at right now. <laughs> All right, that's right. <laughs> I bought me some new shirts. Got some muscle shirts on. What are you cooking? I already cooked today. I cooked some fish and some butter garlic rice. Yes, I have three sisters and three brothers. Land is always good, but the thing about land is if I purchase land, I don't want it sitting there for like years before I can really establish it. If I buy some land, I want to be able to buy the land, then buy the structure that I want to put on the land. I don't want to go through this whole, I got to wait till next month till I get paid. I got to wait till this. I got to wait till that. No, I want to be ready to boom, 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 boom. Get it done. Get it done. Land, land, land. So you are bisexual. No, I am completely 100% gay. <laughs> no bisexual. Oh, someone said they never saw me fry chicken. Hmm. How much are you saving for land? I'm not saving a specific amount for land. I have a, I have, I have three accounts. I have two check-ins account and one savings account. And my savings account is for my bigger picture. And then my check-in account is the account that I had to get in order to get my Google money or YouTube money because something went crazy during that time where I ain't going to go into it right now. And I've had my uh, uh, checking account that I've always had. So I have three accounts. My, my YouTube money go into one. Then I have account, my checkings account where I pay my bills and everything. So I keep the right amount of money, amount of money in there. And then my savings account, that's going to be for whenever I have to pay my big tax money. Anything big. 
I, I do out of that because that's where I keep the most uh, funds. Are you close with your siblings? I am close with most of my siblings, but I'm, I, I won't say that I'm not close with the other ones. I, it's just that I have more communication, better communication with some than others. Land will always go up in value. Thanks, thanks, uh, Bren. Thank you, Roz. Show us your two smash fingers. Okay, where are they? It's these two right here. I don't know. I smashed these in a press. Can you see the little line right there where it when I smashed it in the press, it split open right there? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Some of these people be thinking I don't be saving no money, though. But I be saving my money. <laughs> Y'all think because I'm out here buying these little things. And I do consider them to be little things. I mean, I ain't out here spending thousands and thousands of dollars and stuff. You know? I buy small stuff. You know, a bunch of small stuff. <laughs> as long as I have the space for it. You know, I'm not, I'm not out here at the casino wasting my money or I don't have no bad habits or anything like that. Trust and believe. This brother here is saving way much more than he is spending. Oh my God, that is so rude, Nene. <laughs> and way too personal. <laughs> ah. How old were you when you accepted your sexuality? Okay, I would say when I was 100% comfortable with my sexuality, I was in my mid 30s. No, excuse me, my early 30s, around 32. I don't know what took me so long. Are you a daddy? No, sir. I ain't nobody's daddy. I ain't taking care of no grown folks. <laughs> Do I go to fairs? I don't. I used to go to them a lot when I was younger. <clears throat> and then as I got older, my tolerance for people and crowds just grew lower and lower, so I don't normally go to those type of things. I don't have any children, and I knew early, early in my life that I didn't want any children. What size pop-up are you getting? I'm looking at the um, A-Liner Ranger 12. But I also, doing research, realized that there are other companies that have the A-frame hard, hard bodies as well. So I've been looking at them as well. Hey, is that Anitra? <laughs> we got the same last name. <laughs> are you a daddy? What do you mean? Like in a sexual role? No, I'm not nobody's daddy. Thank you, Kimberly. Then why were you with women if you were 100%? I was not with women after that point. After that age, I was never with another woman. I was with uh, women up until then. It's funny how you can say things and people hear it differently. Right. <laughs> ah. I don't know much about um Alabama. Who are your favorite comedians? Oh boy. 
I don't know. I can't think right offhand. A lot of comedians to me are not funny. Thank you, Dean. A lot of comedians to me are not funny. If I think of one why this live is going, I'll let you know. I'm not going to buy a... I, I have no plans of ever buying like the traditional house. I love the idea of getting a shipping container put on some property and turning that into a house. Nikki says, work hard and save and play later. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I ain't got too much later, Nikki. <laughs> I don't have too much later, Nikki. I got to get it going on now. Where's Michael? Michael is at home in Connecticut. Okay, some of these comments. <laughs> you are so right. He has so much patience for them. Hello, Enigmatic. I hope I said that right. Hey, Eve. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We starting to roll up again. <laughs> Mirzat. <laughs> What's going on, Mirzat? <laughs> Y'all don't know Mirzat. Mirzat is the biggest FOA. And Mirzat is my friend. <laughs> Mirzat came to my mother's passing funeral yes i turned around i was like oh my god yep there was me that do i want a traveling partner hmm mm. sometimes it's best to travel alone though because then you don't have to compromise and you don't have to you can do what you want to do at your own pace now if i was in a relationship now that might be different Have I ever seen the box home that unfolds? I have not. I seen those twenty thousand dollar homes that they sell in Tennessee. The guy. Have you seen any good movies lately? There haven't been any good movies out lately. I can't even remember the last movie that I went to see, and I have been to the movies in the past month. Anthony, do you watch AB Camping? I do not. <laughs> All right, y'all. We are getting at 52 minutes. 52 minutes. Uh, let me see. F Doctor, aside from Van Lifers, who else do I watch? Okay, besides Van Lifers, I watch a couple of um, other gay YouTubers, whether they're a couple or not. Um... That's about it. Oh my God, Toya. Funniest video when you was wearing that mask working. Oh. <laughs> Toya, I still to this day think that that was and is my funniest video ever when I had tried on a, a mask at night for the first time. Oh my God. Thank you, Everyday Vegan. That was my, that is to me by my far my funniest video when I tried on a, fa a face mask at night. Oh, that was so funny. Hmm. Do you ever have to have to use your van to stay cool? Hey, C. Allen, what's going on? I don't. There's never been a time where I have to, like, actually run my van when I'm, like, on a campground to stay cool. I have a fan in here, and I have my windows open, and I, I, don't, have, I don't have problems with, like, it being either too hot or too cold. 
Anthony, can you please share the info about the van build? Oh, you mean the kit that I bought? Okay, I can do that right quick. <laughs> the kit, the kit, I drove to Montreal, Canada. The company is called Van Packers. And the kit was, the base price is 4500 but I got a couple other things added on, which took it to $4,700. That's basically it. I mean, you can go to the Van Packers website and get all the information. I was going to go see No Hard Feelings, and then I changed my mind. You know how you wait a few, wait too long to go see a movie, then you're suddenly no longer interested in it? Have you seen the new tents with air conditioning? I don't need another tent. I'm going to have, I'm just going to get rid of the stuff. Oh, it was a young lady who asked if I can gift her my Jack Reed 500. I went back to try days later to try to find her. I know her picture if I see her picture. And I hope she reaches back out to me because when I go down to Baltimore, I mean Baltimore, when I go back to PA to pick up the stickers, I was going to get that Jackery and send to her. So I don't know that woman. Are you into drag, Dennis? Hmm. You mean watching it, of course. <laughs> I hope that's what you mean, Dennis. <laughs> um, I have been to many, many drag shows before, and I find that after the maybe second or third performer, I've had enough, and I'm ready to just go and dance or something. Now, when I was living in Baltimore, I always traveled to D.C. to Secrets because they had two levels, and on the bottom level, they would have two drag shows per night. And on the top, they had dancers and they had naked men all around dancing. And so I would go down there and watch drag, maybe one or two acts. And then I would go back upstairs. And when I go out, I like to dance. If, if, if the music is good, I like to dance. So I can only tolerate maybe two or three acts. Do you like going to drive-ins? I've been to a couple of drive-ins. I do enjoy going to drive-in movies. Anthony, when are you remaking the Udon noodles? <sighs> I read all y'all comments on the Udon noodles, and I'm going to get it right. You watch. I'm going to get it right. But I don't know if I want to make a video of it. I already made <laughs> I'll probably just talk about it and let you guys know. All righty. Okay, do you worry about... Okay, wait a minute. With... I think that question was, do you worry about draining your... Let me see with it. Wait, wait, do you worry about draining your vehicle's battery? I don't. I don't worry about draining my vehicle's battery because I have a battery starter here. So if that happens, I will be able to start my vehicle up. Do you plan on traveling to other places in Canada? I would love to go to this uh, all-male campground in Canada. It just seems like it's so nice. And... The guy that I met at the other campground, he told me about that campground. Do you plan on meeting other van lifers that you follow? You know, if our paths cross, I wouldn't mind it, but I said this before, um, I don't think I'm going to make any like special arrangements to meet someone. Would you and Michael date? Michael is in a relationship. And you know, it's really, I value Michael's friendship because of what it is, friendship. And in so many cases with, with gay guys, you know, I like having just friends, you know, and gay friends. And Michael is just 
a, a good gay friend to have, you know? There's nothing going on between us. He's in a relationship. And <clears throat> I like that. Because it's, it's like no pressure, no nothing. We can talk about things and, you know, and just not feel any kind of pressure and everything. So I like that. Okay, where are we now? We had one hour because you know I'm gonna I'm gonna pay attention to that because you know this ain't gonna go on no two three hours. <laughs> we are not gonna do that. If you gift a generator, I'm here for it. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna get rid of that 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 tent. Somebody asked me about the the tent. I told them you know it got a squirrel hole in it. They say I don't care. Somebody asked me about that tent. I got a canopy. I'm gonna get rid of. I got some stuff. Oh, I can't wait to get the stickers and put them on. I'm gonna make a big deal about this sticker. It's gonna be a, we're gonna have a, a sticker, a sticker celebration. <laughs> I'm gonna get up there and stick them all over the car. <laughs> ah, oh, Anthony, you have 1,207 people watching. Hey, way to go, way to go, FOA. That's probably because I don't have um, lives often. Hey, everybody. Uh, let me also take a minute while I have you guys here to thank all of the most recent FOAs to our community. I'm so glad that you guys are here. I hope that you stick around. And I want to also say this because I feel like sometimes I have to say this. Thank you, Nikki. Is that what you see from me is what you see. That is part of why I change the opening of my videos to show you guys, those people who are new, exactly what you're going to get from me. You know, I'm not hiking. I'm not a hiker. You know, <laughs> you ain't going to get that from me. <laughs> you're going to get cooking, campgrounds, road trips, traveling, and me being in my van. It's that simple. Thank you. It's going to be that simple, you know. This is the way that I am conducting my life, and this is the way I want to relax. I want a stress-free life from here on out, and campgrounds give me that. I want a sense of community in my life. I don't want to be here, there, everywhere. I want to meet some nice friends. I've talked about this before, and that's why I gravitate, gravitate towards the all-male campgrounds. But... This is what you're going to get. You ain't going to get no more, <laughs> no less. <laughs> Although I do have two day trips coming up that I think you guys are going to enjoy because I know I'm going to enjoy it because it's going to be the first time that I've done this on Sunday's video coming up. Thank you, Shannon. Can't wait to get it. What is my favorite food? I'm going to say my favorite food is, without a doubt, curry chicken, pizza, Love, love pizza and just plain pizza, like just pepperoni pizza. I don't like all that fancy, fancy pizza. Pepperoni pizza, rice. Those are my three favorite foods. Curry chicken, pizza, and rice. Because I eat enough chicken thighs, Zona. <laughs> and I sure enough eat enough rice. <laughs> And I got my rice cooker, my, which is a slow cooker. So I should be making some curry chicken soon. <laughs> I can't wait to get those stickers. I almost got up this morning and went down there because I was I'm so anticipating getting them. And I hope I hope that mailbox is jam packed with with stickers in them. So welcome, welcome, welcome to the most recent FOAs. I'm glad that you guys are here. Thank you so much for the support. I'm telling you now, this would not be possible if it were not for you guys. I'm always going to be myself. Who else can I be? <laughs> Who else can I be? <laughs> ah. Have you ever thought about visiting St. Louis? I've been to St. Louis twice. And I went up in that arc and I almost passed out. 
because that little thing that Jay sit you in, that little thing, it was so claustrophobic. That little thing that they send you in, it has no windows and it goes up and you can feel yourself moving in the, the shape of the arc. I'm telling you, I will never do it again. I almost, I almost fainted. I almost passed out. <clears throat> oh my goodness, my niece is in here. <laughs> my niece is in here. <laughs> You made me laughing with at the about the tripod open the legs. <laughs> oh Lord, that made me laugh myself. Oh my Lord. What is my favorite color? I would say that I look good in in red clothes. I think red brings out, you know, complements my complexion really good. So when it comes to clothes, I'm gonna say red. Any other thing, I love, for some reason, I love um, sage green. Sage green and charcoal gray. I love rice. Ugh. How can we email you? The FOA have a email. It's FOA's, wait a minute, let me see. I ain't going in so long. <laughs> FOA, FOA squad at yahoo.com. Where is the sticker deadline? The sticker deadline, I'm going down to PA and pick up the stickers on Saturday the 22nd. So if it's not there before the 22nd, I don't know when I'll get back down in that part of PA where my storage unit and my UPS address and my PO box mail is. So I'm going down Saturday. July the 22nd of this month. Uh, you know it, Shannon. This is the best community. Y'all hear people say that on other channels, like, right, this is the best community. No, no, no. This is the best community. And I'm going to tell y'all why this is the best community. You know why? Because I allow you guys to get to know me. Y'all know so much about me. Y'all know so much about me. I am almost an open book to y'all. There are some little personal things that y'all don't need to know. But for the most part, I am an open book and I allow you guys to know me as a person. And I think that's the big difference between this community and other communities. It's because if you guys don't feel like you know me, I don't know where you've been. <laughs> Because with this mouth, blah, 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 I tell y'all everything. And I think that is the biggest difference when I tell you and say that this is the best community. It's because you guys should feel like you know me. How many miles are on your van? 71,000. I bought this van when it had 52,000. Who is your niece? <laughs> Makira. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> I, can't believe, I can't believe you. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't have kids. Ooh, that's a little too deep to go into right now. Um, ask me what's some memories of my mom. Oh, let's not go there. <laughs> we don't want to do that right now. I know. I'm going to look. Who else can I be but myself? Oh, yeah. I need some cabbage, too. <laughs> Ooh, okay, y'all. Anthony, try the Uncle Ben's wild rice. Uh, maybe I will. 
but I'm right right now I'm hooked on that butter garlic. Oh my god. And I put my own that curry gold butter and garlic in there too. Oh my goodness. I had that today. Remember somebody asked me why I laugh so much? <laughs> They asked me, why you laugh so much? I said, what, what should I be crying? Oh, somebody also asked me uh, in the comment section, am I going to, am I still thinking about having a 2024 uh, FOA cruise? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Because what I actually thought that I would do, instead of like trying to set it up as a cruise, I was actually thinking of, me just taking a cruise and telling you guys about that cruise and if you go you go because to me that would be much easier than to try to coordinate a whole group thing just say hey look i booked this cruise if anybody available to, that wants to go can go yes you are very transparent and I, i'm an open book the only pages you won't see are the last five pages. You can read the, the whole book except the last five pages. That's the 5% that I'm not going to put you guys in with. <laughs> hey, L Boogie, welcome. Yvette. What are your bills? Oh, my Lord. I have very little bills. I probably got a bunch of small bills that I can't keep track of more so than the bigger bills. Let me see. What are my bills? I have my car insurance, my cell phone, my car insurance, my cell phone, my storage unit. My medical bills, my medical, my, my medical, my medical expenses are the most. That they total seven hundred dollars. That's for health, eyes, and dental. So that's it, and then a whole bunch of little small things like <clears throat> my gym membership, any little like um, what do you call these things, streaming apps and stuff that I can't keep up with. My bills are probably about. 1300 a month and mainly most of that is uh, medical nope I don't bake cookies and cake <clears throat> medical insurance is awful you know it, it, it's just it's just ridiculous and you know and I have to pay 100% my own so just imagine that you know, no job to help you out and pay most pay most of it. I'm paying 100% my own medical. Do you have a humidifier? I do have a humidifier. I guess who I got it from? I got it from my mom's. Do you have life insurance? I still got to work on some things. My middle sister and my younger sister get on me all the time about that. I'm going to do it. I swear I'm going to do it. I didn't forget the cake that you baked. I know. Wasn't that? That was great. Would you ever have a cook-off? Nah, I wouldn't. And the reason why is because I enjoy cooking. And I think a competition would not be joyful to me. <laughs> it would it would not be. It would just be too much pressure. <laughs> it would not be fun at all to me. And no, I would not. Did you used to work in Philly around the University of Penn? I did not. I I work I used to work in Lancaster. Think about your beneficiary. Right? I have a beneficiary when it comes to my money, my accounts at the bank. I know they all in my business and I'm telling them too. <laughs> this is why this is the best channel and community on YouTube because y'all know me.
Well. I mean, I don't mind answering. Thank you. I don't mind answering. I mean, what harm is it going to be that y'all know? What harm is that? That just makes us closer. <laughs> ah. What are you watching right now on Netflix? I am watching Mr. Queen right now on Netflix. I just finished not too long ago watching Fake People, which I suggested that you guys watch. I'm now watching the Asian uh, Netflix. And Lord, this thing, I think, got 20 daggone episodes. And I'm on just number eight. I'm watching Mr. Queen right now. All you have to say is get out my beeswax. I don't mind, because believe me, if it's something that I don't want to put out there, I'm not going to put it out there. Mr. Queen, what is that about? It's about um, an Asian king and an Asian queen. And their little trials and tribulations and stuff like that. Can you enable your um, CC subtitles? I thought all you have to do is, is click on um, the CC and, and the subtitles will come up. I don't think that's something that I have to set up. I think because I know when I'm watching a video, I don't know whether the people set it up or not. And I wanted to, to the subtitles. I just hit the subtitle thing. Shout out to Brooklyn. I don't keep my air con I don't run my my van air conditioned during hot days. I don't. Oh my God, the Tudor. I watched the Tudor years ago. Chattanooga, hello. Oh Lord, that, that red snapper gave me nightmares. Thank you. Hey, Kentucky. Oh, did that person respond? Oh, there you go. Hey, how do I send you my information for the Jackery? There you go. What's your name so I can remember? Red, Red Shannon. Uh, send it to send it to FOA FOA Squad at Yahoo.com. FOA Squad at Yahoo.com. Have you seen the movie Girl Interrupted? Isn't that Angelina Jolie? I saw that movie like years and years ago. Warbrook. Are you practicing your Japanese? I'm telling you, I'm y'all gonna see me trying to use some chopsticks. I remember at the first PA meetup, they were trying to show me how to use some chopsticks, and I couldn't get it to save my life. Hey, Mississippi, am I crooked letter, crooked letter? Ah, uh, hump back, hump back. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Are you ever planning to come to Texas? I was in Texas last year on a road trip with Michael. We I did a Houston meetup. What's up, Houston meetup folks? When when would you be doing another steak on the grill? I actually just now, like three days ago, went to the grocery store and bought some steak. So I have the steak. I just have to get that grill going. Oh, let me tell you something, foot doctor. I said foot doctor. <laughs> I, just, 
I just made up what the F step stood for. <laughs> Let me tell you something, foot doctor. <laughs> Let me, let me, let me, I just made it up. F Doctor, I don't need no help with my Asian movies because I done seen a whole list of really, really good ones. I just made up. I just, I just called him the Foot Doctor. Oh my God. Oh, my pleasure, Cheeks. Donatello. Huh. <laughs> Ooh, love. I, I am going to check out them vending machines because I heard the, the stuff is really good in those vending machines there. And I heard that food at 7 Eleven is good. Mm. Oh my goodness, yes. When that doctor took my sock off at the doctor's last year, <laughs> I was done. <laughs> she said, it's okay, baby. I'm going to get you some cream to put on that feet. <laughs> Oh, and remember when I accidentally showed my feet when I was in the SUV? Oh no, that see that that's that's where our closeness ends right there. That's when the closeness ends. <laughs> Do you like vegetables? Honestly, I am not a big vegetable person, and I know it's such an important part of your meal. I'm just not a big vegetable person. The only the only thing I eat is is broccoli. That's the only thing y'all see me eat is broccoli. I'm not going to Japan to shop for no clothes. I'm going to Japan to get me some good food. Oh, I would never be nobody's foot model, let me tell you. My feet are getting better though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna give myself some props. Thank you. They are getting better, though. Maybe because I'm washing them more often at the campground. <laughs> and it's lifestyle. You don't get a shower every day. <laughs> Maybe because I'm washing them more. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, my Lord. Hey, Nikki. Y'all crack me up. I'm going to tell y'all, y'all think I crack you up. You guys crack me up in the comments, too. I wish that I can respond to more comments, though, but this is not like back in the days when, I, when the community was this small, <laughs> you know? Mm. We like this big now. Are you going to try to stay at a pod? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Didn't I just tell y'all I'm claustrophobic when I went up in that arc thing in St. Louis? No, no, I can't do that. How long will you be in Japan? Seven days. I see you eat a lot of bell peppers. I try. Is that good? Oh, no. I will never intentionally show you guys my feet. Mm-mm. And you can forget about me ever going to get a pedicure. That is definitely out of the question. I can hear them Asian women speaking their language, talking about me, laughing. Oh, Lord. And I'd be like, what? What? Say it in English. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I am so not famous. How long is the flight to Japan? Well, it's... uh. I think I'm flying to, I'm not even going to lie, I forgot where I'm flying to. It's two flights, though. I don't know. Maybe I'll, 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 I'll look at my itinerary and let you know if I remember. Hey, Sophia. Y'all know them Asian people be talking about y'all when y'all when getting y'all feet done and stuff. Oh no, Angie P. You ain't gonna that's that's where our closeness ends right there. I'm gonna have to cut y'all loose right there. No, Chantel. No. They're gonna have to get out the grinder. <laughs> <laughs> the buffer. 
Woo, Lord have mercy, no indeed. Oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> I'm flying coach, foot doctor. <laughs> I'm going coach. And I hope I have an aisle seat. Thank you. I'm going to try to do a really, really good job in actually taking y'all through that whole process. From me getting up in the morning, going to the airport. I'm leaving out of Baltimore, so I'm going to be in Baltimore probably one or two days before I actually have to go take the flight. And the reason why I'm leaving out of Baltimore as opposed to Philly is when I went to... Where did I go? I was in Mexico, yeah. When I went to Mexico and I flew out of Philly, I had to park at one of those park and fly type of deals. And I did not like that. I know Baltimore's parking situation and it's so much better. And I'm going to just go down there. And it's so much easier to navigate. So I'm leaving out of Baltimore. Yeah, let's see. I don't know, Justin. They will. They look at these feet. And they probably put that that clothes sign up in the window. <laughs> This gonna take all day. We can't take no more customers. <laughs> this is gonna be a joint effort here. <laughs> gather round, gather. <laughs> this gonna be like a major surgery. <laughs> ah, when are we going to? Oh, when are you going to show us dancing? I like to dance too. Ah. Ah. Uh, 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 but don't you think everybody can car dance better than they can actually dance when they're standing up? Because you only have to move your upper body. Have you ever rode past them by and stopped and they really getting down and it look like they can really dance in their car? Hey, because you can only see that. And I bet you if they stand up, they probably can't even dance. Hey everyone. Okay, 87 minutes, y'all. We almost had an hour and a half. Thank you. Who do you use for booking traveling international? I just I went on Expedia. Because Expedia, you can book your flight and your um hotel stay all in once and they'll keep your itinerary for you. Chair dance. I did not say chair dance. <laughs> Woo, Lord have mercy. Hey, Esther. Do y'all ever watch the, that video where the, um, the black lady was talking about me? She said, Anthony then went from van life to gay campgrounds. <laughs> Y'all ever watch her? <laughs> ah, do you still talk to your old co-workers? Only one. Uh, are you still going back to work? Absolutely not. When are you going to find a man, Anthony? You know what's so funny about that? I would not mind have being in a relationship. I don't have no friends that can help me. You know how you got some friends that can set you up on dates and stuff? I don't have none of those type of friends. None, because most, I ain't going to say most, because some of my friends are in relationships and some not. I don't have, it's hard to find them. It's hard. Where is Lamont? Lamont is in Connecticut. It's, it's hard. It is hard. I think it's easier for heterosexual people to find someone to date because you can meet the heterosexuals out on out and about at any given time, you know. Where where I travel in places, I'm not like running across a whole slew of gay people. So to me, it is 
it's 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 harder to me. No, I would not. Darlene, what's whose channel? Cheeks, do you like, look at Cheeks, do you like younger or older guys? I like older guys. I'm 57. I like older guys. You know. I'm going to show you guys, I have. I only had one, one boyfriend in my life. I'm going to show you guys a picture of him whenever I do my little slide. Do you call Lamont? Absolutely, he's my best friend. No, no, no. It is it is true. Um, who is that, Lisa? Don't let me go back here. It is true, Lisa, because you have to meet someone first of all to know that they are a cray-cray. I am having, that's my biggest thing. I always say that I know how I am and I think I would be good in a relationship. It's just, and I think the relationship for me would be easy because of my personality and who I am. And I also value who I am as a person. So therefore, I will not put up with no BS from nobody, you know, especially when I like older guys who I am assuming, okay, you've been around, you 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 live some life, you should know what you want at this point. Yeah, it has gotten darker here <laughs> because it's about to rain. Look at that. Where is my sunshine? <laughs> it's like I turned the lights off in here. So it's it's a big difference to me, you know. Thank you. What well, I was answering Mr. Cheeks. I said Mr. Cheeks. <laughs> Cheeks, what did you ask me? No, I beg to differ. It when I when I say it's harder for gays, I'm saying that because Y'all saying it's hard. It's easier for a heterosexual person to meet someone to date. I'm not talking about whether that person is cray cray or not. I'm talking about just the meeting aspect of it. For me, I don't go to bars or any of that. So w what do I have? The apps. The apps are mostly uh, sexual acts. Apps. They just want to have sex. So it's definitely easier. I can't go to the grocery store and hit on because it's not. It's, it's definitely easier, I mean, for heterosexuals to me. Oh, Cheeks, cut it out. Lee Willie. Would you date offline? Oh, what was that? Would I date an FOA member? I would. Why not? Why not? You have to make yourself available. Yes, I agree with that. You have to make yourself available. But available where? Where? Besides the clubs, where? You know, it's it's not that it's not that hard. I mean, it's not that easy. Where would I make myself available? Oh my goodness! Did I pay my light bill? <laughs> I'm thinking I didn't pay my light bill. <laughs> what is your preference as far as ethnicity? Well, the one the one guy that I was in a relationship, he was Caucasian. Not saying that that's a preference, but I tend to gravitate towards that way. Thank you. And keep that van in your feet clean. Shut up, shut up, Cheeks.
the Baltimore, Miss Wilson, what about the campground? Hey, Cynthia, Washington, Divine. Y'all see how I can't pronounce no words? That's that's how my mother was. The older she got, she was not able to pronounce some words. I know. It's about, let me see, what time is it? All right. That helped a little bit. Ooh, let me cut my A off. <laughs> All right, that helped a little bit. But, you know, we're going to be wrapping it up pretty soon because this is like over an hour and a half. Exactly. Clubs is not the place to go if you're looking for love. It is a gay campground, Miss Wilson. So what am I supposed to go out and go out, go here and go there by myself in like hopes of meeting someone? Come on, let's be realistic. How are you coping with your mom's passing, Vanessa asks. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Again, my nephew and I actually had a conversation about that and I, I said to him that I miss her presence, but I know she's better now. And I wear this cross in commemoration and I told him that, you know, we have all the great memories of her. So it's coming to, I'm coming along. Okay. Okay, what we got going on here? It will happen when you least expect it. I hope so, because you know what? For many, many years at New Year's, at the beginning of the year, I always used to say for many, many years, I stopped doing it now. I used to say, this is the year that I'm going to get a boyfriend. And then never, those 365 days flew by. And I was like, this is the year I'm going to get a boyfriend. Woo! <laughs> so I'm just going to, in, in the meantime, I'm just going to enjoy my life. And if it happens, it happens. You know, my life does not revolve around or my life doesn't need to be fulfilled by having a special someone in it because I'm a happy person. I'm getting to do the things that I want to do. I'm getting to live the way that I want to live right now. I have some really, really great people in my life that I love, friends and family. So I'm good for now. Will you do a meetup in South Carolina? I don't know. What part of South Carolina? Do you prefer the cell phone chats or the laptop chats? Well, that depends on if I can get on my laptop because the laptop is much bigger, of course. All righty. All right, we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> hey, Tasha from Miami. We're going to wrap this up. I do want to answer one more question about relationship because someone asked me if in, in, in the Q&A, and I don't think I addressed this question, and it was, would I give up van life to be in a relationship? And the, the answer to that is, Absolutely not. Because first and foremost, that person, okay, how should I uh, approach this? I'm very slow when it comes to relationships and getting to know someone. I might go Google Gaga over you for a quick minute and then after that, I'm trying to learn who you are as a person. And so I'm, I move very slow when it comes to being in a relationship. That was the main reason why the one relationship that I was in ended because he was 
more forward than I was. He wanted to move forward in the relationship and I was not ready. I mean, I think after like five months or so, he gave me his door key to his house and I never gave him mine. This is when I had a house. I never gave him mine. And he had experience in relationships and this was my first relationship. So he thought that I wasn't ready to move on and progress like he wanted to, so he ended it. On mutual terms, I mean, I was fine with it because I understood why he did it. So during the get, this is what I, this is the part of that I think a lot of people skip over, the getting to know a person period, time frame. And during that getting to know time frame, that person is going to learn some things about me as I see fit to let them know, meaning the way that I live, etc. So they're going to know if it gets to that point, they're going to know before we officially say we're in a relationship of how I am living. You know, these are things that when you meet someone and you get to talking to them for a few months and everything, and you slowly start sharing things, thank you, you start uh, sharing things with them. And this will be a part of what I would start to slowly share with them. You know, if someone tells me, okay, we can't be in a relationship because of the way you live, I'm going to say adios amigos. You know, because you have to, uh, I, you have to understand that I would be giving up my freedom to be with someone in a, in one place. So I feel like I have a lot to give up, you know, in order to be in a relationship with someone who doesn't have the same freedom that I have. So those are things that we will discuss and talk about before we even decide whether or not we're going to be in a relationship. So many people skip past that getting to know stage. And for me, that's a long time. I hope I answered that right. Yes, people think because they talk on the phone every night for two hours, oh, I'm in love, I'm in love. And the next thing you know, they cry. No, not me. <laughs> I'm 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 like a slow turtle. Good night, Lydia. I'm not actively looking for someone. Yes, when you meet somebody, take your time, get to know them. And you know what else I don't like about <clears throat> Don't assume because we have been talking and hanging out and, 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 and that kind of stuff. Don't assume that we are in a relationship. I want some verbal confirmation. So many people do that and they like, you know, because they've been hanging out with that person every weekend and, and whatever. They might even be into sex and mode right at that point that they in a relationship. No, we're going we gonna, to we gonna verbally say it. <laughs> yeah, Mateo mentioned me in his video today because he had made a post about um, he's not going to post uh, this week or something like that because he's spending, you know, a lot of money going traveling. And I told Mateo, look, you don't always have to make a video of you on the road. There are different types of videos you can make, you know. And so... He appreciated my, my comment to him and he mentioned me on his channel today. Yes, they are so busy. Nobody wants to take their time when it comes to relationship. And I also feel that if a person don't want to spend that time to get to know me the time that I want or need to take to get to know them, then it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. Have a wonderful life.
Mateo just now did a, um, a meetup with uh, uh, Alyssa. Okay, I'm about to go to Mickey D's and get me a strawberry cream pie. <laughs> oh, what is it that saying? I don't even know. I'm missing it. Did somebody say what I thought they said? Anthony, would you share an RV with Mateo? Oh, would you share an RV with someone? Not if we ain't in no relationship. All right, guys, let's bring this to a wrap here. Good night, Cynthia. I want to thank all of you guys for coming in because I'm getting darker and darker. <laughs> I appreciate you guys coming in. I had so much fun answering your questions. I have to learn how to slow these down, uh, words down, and I will hopefully learn how to do that for the next uh, live. I'm thinking about maybe trying to have a live on the um, campground, uh, a cooking live. I think that would be good because I know so many times when I'm cooking, y'all be like, Anthony, no. Anthony, no. <laughs> so I think a live cooking video would be pretty cool. All right, guys. Good night. Thank you, FOA squad. You guys are the best. Thank you. And I will see you guys very soon. Uh, Sunday will be the next video. I'm so excited because I have a day trip planned. Well, not exactly an all-day trip, but a several hours trip plan doing something that I've never done before. So that's going to be a, a pretty good video on Sunday. All right, guys. See you guys later. Thank you for being here. And now I know I can do a live on my phone and not my laptop. <laughs>